Tonight, as a web developer myself, I mean, you look at Category 5.TV, and that's, you know, my baby. That's something that I put together, the infrastructure, the back end, how it works. But as the developer, mm-hmm. I can sometimes miss out on things like bugs. Mm-hmm. Right. I don't see it the way that the end user sees it. I see a lot of code. Uh, I might miss out on the fact that maybe it's hard to find the local show times because we've got the local show times tucked away down in the footer. Mm-hmm. Maybe I need to learn that, hey, I could move that up to the top somewhere and then people would be able to find the show times in their region a lot simpler. Now, one of the ways that we can do this, of course, is a focus group. You get a bunch of people together, you get them to go on your website and you observe them as they go about um, doing all the things on your website and see how okay. the experience is for them. It's a real eye-opener so that you can see you know, what is this website like for my users. Hmm. But that can be expensive and it can be hard to get people together and who has the time and so on and so forth. And, and this is a focus group. Realistically, right. these yeah. are not your real diehard users. users right. right? Mm-hmm. So there are analytics. You can use like Google Analytics, and that service allows you to kind of see a breakdown of how things look uh, from, you know, what did they click on? What did they do while they're on your website? But you need to be able to generate reports and figure it out. Wouldn't it be nice? if you could put a camera over the shoulder of every single person who goes to your website and see what they go through, see what they click on, see if they get frustrated and start rage clicking because they can't Mm. find what's going on or they can't figure out why the button doesn't work. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't it? Is there a way? There is a way. We're not going to be all creepy and put a camera in their bedroom. <laughs> That's not yeah. how this works. But we're going to look at a service tonight that starts out as a free service. And what I mean by that is okay. if you've got a blog, if you've got a website that doesn't have an astronomical amount of traffic, mm-hmm. you're going to be able to use the free service absolutely fine. Now, if you're a bigger site, say a news site that gets millions of hits, well, then you're going to want to invest in paying for their commercial services. Mm. That's cool. Now, they do offer a free trial of the professional service, but we're going to be looking at the free service tonight just to show you what this can do for you. The product that we're looking at is fullstory.com. So let's bring that up on my computer here. Welcome to fullstory.com. Now, this is going to tell you a little bit about it. You know, is this all just fancy, fancy, and they've put together a video, and who knows how real this really is. But let's actually sign up for an account. So you can go through the steps of, now look at the pricing and everything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, there's the professional account, which includes all these kinds of features, and is 200 bucks a month. But lo and behold, there's a free service, and the free service includes all these features. Now, I do encourage you to support any of the services that you use and love, Mm -hmm. but I understand, too, that you may have a smaller website, or you may just want some insight into, you know, the next 10 days of what people are going to be doing on your website, because Mm -hmm. you've just developed a new website. What's it like for the new user? What a great idea to roll out your new website, add full story to the header, and then you've got a chance to actually have that focus group with your real-life users. So this is just kind of an introduction to the features, and it shows you what this service is not going to have. So the free service is lacking click maps, which show you basically where people click in a map format. So think of a heat map where you can see... um, That's interesting. They click on that so much that it's red, right? So that's a little bit different. Um, It is not going to show you GOIP and all that kind of stuff, domain IP error clicks, which would be like, I guess, a 404 or things. Oh, no, this is stuff that produces a JavaScript error. Hmm. So this is, so it looks like the free version is more to just kind of see what's going on on your website, but not necessarily analyze the code, because that's another thing this can be used for. Are there bugs on my website that I'm not seeing? We have a website with thousands of pages, because we've got so much video there. Well, I don't know if (laughs) something from season two is, you know, when you click on it, it crashes out your browser. Unless someone tells me that, I'm not going to realize it. So Full Story is going to help me with that. So we know about the pricing, and we know that there is a free version available. So up here, we can just enter our email address, and by doing that, it's going to pop us a quick email that allows us to activate our trial account. Now, the trial account, again, is like a a trial version of the professional Mm -hmm. edition of Full Story. But when it runs out, they're going to need you to start paying for it. That's the $200 a month thing. So during that 
trial version. If you're interested in, you know, if you're looking for the professional version, sure, go ahead and, and do it. But if you're just looking for the free version, you can actually downgrade to the free version during the trial with no fear of having to pay and you're not going to have to enter a credit card or anything. So just for the sake of demonstration, I've kind of expedited things by signing up. And when I clicked on the uh, authentication email, it actually took me to this form that allows me to log in with my Google account. And I'm like, hey, that's easy enough. So I just click on it and say, okay, well, let's log in. And boom, I am into Full Story. So welcome to Full Story, folks. Now, you'll notice that, first of all, I've already added the header code to my website so I could start to track what's going on on our website. I'm going to show mm -hmm. you how to do that. When you first log in, this panel is going to be absolutely empty. So you click on Settings, and there is your recording snippet. So this allows you to basically put that camera over the shoulder of your, your site visitors copy this code and simply throw it into the header of your website. So if you go to category5.tv and then I'll do a control U to see the header and I should see something here for full story. See that? Fullstory.com. Now I'm using Rocket Script so it condenses and minifies so it looks a little bit different than the copy and paste but that is the actual code that I've pasted into the header for the sake of this demonstration and just so that we can see how full story works. Mm -hmm. So now if you go to category5.tv and you start looking around, I'll give you an example. I installed this this week and yeah. I had not yet added Category 5's um, episode 502 to the website. Mm -hmm. So full story allowed me to see that a user had discovered that the top right module here that says Technology mm -hmm. TV episode 503 live right now, yep. normally there's a countdown there. Now it said 502 was going to be live tonight. Well, 502 already happened that night. But because I hadn't <gasps> uploaded it yet, my website thought 502 hadn't happened yet. Oh, so, okay. so then I realized, oh, there's a bug there. I need to accommodate the fact that, okay, the show has happened. We have not yet uploaded it. It still thinks that 502 is to come. So that was a bug that I discovered thanks to Full Story. I would never have seen that. Yeah. So, so that's kind of one of the advantages to it as well. It's interesting to me, too, to find out that your eyes are somehow associated and connected to your mouse. Right. You've never mm -hmm. realized this. But when you start watching Full Story, you realize people actually move their mouse to the things that they're reading, to That's the things really that they're doing. Neat, it's really interesting. Wow. Try to catch yourself. See if when, uh. you're, when you're reading news stories, where's your mouse cursor? I don't think you move it off to the side and put your hands behind your back. It's actually, it's a fact. I see it. Uh, and maybe we'll get, a, get to glean some of that tonight as we look at fullstory.com. But people do tend to point to stuff. So that, mm. was brought, that bug was brought to my attention as the user, in fact, placed their mouse cursor over the episode number over here mm -hmm. on the right-hand side and kind of moved their mouse around in such a way that I realized they were frustrated with something or couldn't figure something out. And they started scrolling up and down, and you could tell they were looking for yeah, episode 502. Huh. Really cool stuff. So let's get a look at what it looks like from the administrator's perspective. So we're not spying on any private information here. This is literally just, this is the information of what are they seeing in their web browser. Mm -hmm. So that said, if you have a login system, or anything that displays private information, confidential information, please be mindful of that when you install this plugin. You can actually block Full Story from seeing some content. You can block mm -hmm. it from recording certain content. And that's important as you set this up if you have a site that has that kind of private information. Now, our mm -hmm. website, the advantage to us is that we do not collect or show any private information on the screen, plus anything that is shown on the screen is something that I'm going to know anyways. For example, if somebody were to send in a viewer question, they might go to the Contact Us form, mm -hmm. and yes, they will enter their email address. Mm -hmm. But I'm the one who receives that email. I'm also the one who's going to see the full story output. So there's nothing there that is private that I am not already yeah. privy to. So right. that one private thing is not something that, that I really need to be concerned with, but I could block it if I wanted full story not to have access to that data. Hmm. Okay, so this is what it looks like now that, the, now that it's plugged in. Now, you'll see that Toronto has uh, connected in here on the right-hand side. That might be me because we're on LTE. So mm -hmm. there's somebody in Londonbury, someone in Vancouver, someone in Chicago, and someone in Los Angeles on the website. So if I click play on this, and notice it's just user 483. doesn't give me any real information that's identifying. It's just 
the ability to sort of see what's going on. It shows me where they're located, and let's see what it shows us. I feel so, like now's a really good time for everybody to get on the website. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> start clicking around. Spam the website right now. So you notice how right now they're just kind of sitting there on that page. Mm-hmm. So I can click on skip inactivity because it's orange down there. And so that mm-hmm. tells me that there is some inactivity going on. I can press skip inactivity and it's going to push right over that. Now that user didn't really do much. They probably went to the website and clicked on live. Right. Right up at oh, the top. Okay. Right. Because that makes sense. That is what someone might do in this instance. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit here. Go back in time a little bit to uh, well before the show. Let's jump to 5.04 p.m. when we had someone from Walsall on the website on a Windows computer. Hmm. So again, nothing personally identified, but this is what they saw. So there's their mouse, that's not mine. See that mouse that just kind of moved around? So they're going through the menu. I can see they're going to shop with our partners. Oh good, thank you, thank you, thank you. you. That's awesome. (laughs) And now see their mouse? They're looking at Amazon, I guarantee it. See? Oh, super. Now they're looking at eBay. See how they're, they're it's deciding. so interesting. It's almost like, and now they've clicked on Amazon.co.uk. So if that was you, thank you. Huh. But how cool that, oh, they're dra- maybe they're dragging some links up to their, uh, to their toolbar, to their bookmark yeah. bar. Huh. And that's the end of the session. So that's all that was recorded mm-hmm. in that particular that's session. That's super cool. You see that how is. the eye moved to Amazon and so did the Man. mouse. The eye moved to eBay and so did the mouse. So jumping back just a little bit here. Let's see what else we can find. So, Yeah, show me more. Show so me interesting. More, <laughs> it really is. And from a UX standpoint, okay, so here's somebody. Uh, it looks like maybe they... It's, it, it doesn't seem... I haven't figured out why sometimes it's just like an instant. Maybe it was detected as a bot. Maybe it was something that... Yeah, you know, crawler. They, they clicked on a particular link that took them straight to the content, something like that. Sometimes mm-hmm. I go on the website to just check the past episodes to see what sure. shirt I've worn in the oh, past couple go. of weeks. <laughs> so that was the plan. Make sure I don't that wear the you. same okay. shirt a couple of days in a row. Yeah. It's like, no, we're safe. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's somebody looking at the Pixel Shadow website as well and, and uploading a, a skin. So you can add more than one website. So I've added that, con- huh. that header code to more than one website, but we're just focused on Category 5 TV tonight. So here's somebody here at about noon today. See their mouse cursor there? So they're reading one of your news stories there, Sasha. Here are the stories we're following this week. And okay, now they've jumped up to the top. What are they going to do? The intense... Oh, you know what? See, Mm -hmm. because YouTube is an embed... An oh. iframe, if, pardon me, it's an iframe. We cannot see that they're actually watching a YouTube video in the middle there, right below the title oh. of the page. Um, so on our website, huh. that's where the video is displayed. But here, uh, we don't see that because YouTube cross-domain uh, cross uh, security policies. Mm-hmm. Right. So we just see a white square. Now here's somebody looking at our statistics. Viewer locations for the last 30 days and they're scrolling up and down currently viewed videos and so obviously pausing there to read what the episode is about, see what's going on. So you can see the benefit of this. Now here on the mm-hmm. network, now they've stopped there on New Every Day and there's uh, the Ubuntu image has kind of stood out to them, or Point Linux I guess it was, there's Sasha, and now, boom, clicking on creating screencast tutorials in Linux with me and Krista, and there they are. So now so the cool. video is playing there, and they've got their mouse hovered over the full screen button, I would as- assume, uh, because that's about where it would be. And then uh, it skipped over because we've got it set to skip in activity. And uh, they probably watched the video at that point. And here they huh. are looking again at our statistics. So we have to so hope cool. that this is somebody who's interested in advertising on our network. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so how cool is that? It's called fullstory.com. There is a version that's absolutely free, and that's what we're evaluating oh. tonight. And so Wait, please do check it, it out. It was the foo oh. from the chat room. So the chat room. just happened to be. It was. Do you recognize that session? Was that you? And is everything that I'm saying awesome. correct? Did you notice how your mouse cursor was going to the right spot? Huh. Um, and so what are, you know, what are the chances? Here we are, um, yeah. and there are hundreds of, uh, I just added the code the other day, I've got hundreds of uh, videos to watch. That is super, Such super a helpful cool. system. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not everyone needs this, but if you're a developer, if you're looking to build a better user experience, what a great way to gauge what the users are actually going through, oh, to yeah. find those little bugs, to find little quirks about your website. And huh. when you're done observing, you can turn it off. 
and then you can turn it back on the next right. time you do a big site overhaul. And uh, it's important to note along that vein, mm -hmm. Full Story will not have a performance impact on your website. How fantastic yeah. is that? So check it out. It's fullstory.com. If you love it, hey, give us a thumbs up and uh, make sure you post your comments below as well. 